all day. shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. Got it. Nobody's keeping shit from you, are they, boss?
Eyes up. Something's out there. Should have known better. Today, pal. Something good out of this. I don't see anything. I'm ready if you need some. Got it.
what it takes to be what did you have fun in mine, mine against mine tussle with any bad outlaws it was everything you promised sheriff more fun than a bale full of hay well all right please put in a good word with milka cola corporate when your survey card Arrives in the mail here. Take some souvenir bottle caps courtesy of the Milka Cola Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch anytime. alive, Gage. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Why bother with the Commonwealth? Don't we have everything we need over here? That sounds like Coulter talking, boss. Ain't a good sign. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Sounds like you've had this plan from the beginning. The idea's crossed my mind, sure. But I'm just making suggestions here. You're the one that needs to give the go-ahead. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. 
I don't trust anyone. But Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely. Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. And what makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well... I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And, despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit, and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. But look, you're the overboss. You decide you want to sweet-talk the poor sods we're going to be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead? That's up to you. But I can't change the fact that you're going to have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was going to be easy. Now, you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from. 
an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang should I have join you once you've staked your claim? The operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. I bet you they can manage to keep looking bored through the whole thing. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Green Top Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor, Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery, and the Slog. Again, I can't guarantee those'll all be available targets till I check my notes. But if they are, they're certainly a good place to start. Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, what's the target? Mm hmm. Wait, pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting a settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So, that the target? That one's the target. <laughs> Ruthless. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operators should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're gonna wanna do before trying to run them off. But ultimately, it's up to you, boss. Good luck. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. Hey, you. 
Hey, something I can do for you? Are you the one in charge around here? About as much as anyone, sure. Now you want to tell me what it is you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. Y you want th this place? Th listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I... I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Now, I'm gonna make this easy for you. Take these caps and go. Caps? For this... Uh, yeah, fine. I, uh... I guess it's all yours. Hey. I'm going. I'm going. Sure. I'm going. I'm going. Sure. I'm not gonna bother you, all right? 